بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈی او اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو آفس ڈاٹ کام ڈاٹ پی کے ڈی او اسٹوڈنٹس دس از یور اون پلیٹ فارم ویر یو کم اینڈ لرن اینڈ وی پرووائڈ یو ود دا بیسٹ آف نالج وی کین ڈی او اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ریکویسٹ آل آف یو ٹو پلیز ڈو سبسکرائب ٹو آر چینل اینڈ آلسو شیئر اٹ ود یور فرینڈس سو دیٹ ایوری ون کین بینیفٹ فرام دا نالج وی آر شیئرنگ اینڈ آلسو ڈو شیئر یور ویوز اباؤٹ how we are presenting the knowledge your positive and negative comments are very important for us as your positive comments will boost our morale and energy and we will work with more zeal to uh, improve the way uh, we are doing and also your negative comments will help us uh, in improvement and in betterment so together we can uh, improve our platform and make it uh, a gate of knowledge for everybody who visits it so please do subscribe to our channel thank you so much in the previous video uh, we discussed about the classification of organic compounds and today we are going to discuss about the importance of a functional group i will give you the basic idea of functional group as in second year it is a very small topic because in matriculation you have already discussed functional groups in detail so uh, in Uh, second year there is only a brief introduction about functional groups and the examples of functional groups are given so let us discuss so first of all let us move towards the definition of a functional group it is an atom or it can be a group of atoms or it can be a double or a triple bond which when it is added to an organic compound their presence or their presence inside those organic compounds will impart or in include specific properties to organic compounds what does that mean it means that functional group is a group of atoms it can be a single atom it is known as functional because when you add this particular group inside an organic compound that organic compound will have specific or particular properties that are only related to that specific group so as the, that group is adding specific functions and specific properties to organic compounds that is why it is known as functional group now there are a lot of organic compounds and functional group are very important uh, topic of study because most of the organic compounds they have some kind of functional group present inside them and ultimately their properties are related to the presence of that particular functional group inside them so uh, the study of organic chemistry it is organized around the functional groups each functional groups it defines a particular family a specific family for example we have alcohols so we we'll know uh, when we study the properties of alcohols all the alcohols are going to have the same properties so uh, there are 6 million organic compounds and you cannot study them one by one i have told you earlier that it is not feasible for us to study them one by one so we organize them as families we separate out uh, and make grouping of them according to the functional group or according to the specific type of group of atoms that is imparting specific properties inside them so that we can study them easily now there are various examples given inside your book uh for example we have in the example of atom or group of atoms we have example of uh halides or halogen halide uh, an organic compound becomes a halide when a halogen is added now this line it depicts uh, a bond which is present inside that organic compound and the halogen atom when it is added to organic compound that organic compound will known as uh it will be known as halide now this is an atom now let us talk about the group of atoms now this is c oxygen oxygen hydrogen this whole group Th- when this is added to a specific organic compound it will become an acid this is known as carboxyl group now a uh, double or triple bond i have the example of double bond when double bond is added that whole group will become alkene group uh, and ho- all the members will have the same kind of names for example ethene propene 
butene, pentene, etc. Similarly, we have triple bond, and those uh, that family is known as the alkyne family, and the triple bond will impart specific properties accordingly. Similarly, we have OH group, which is also uh, a group of atoms, and this is uh, this family will be known as alcohol. Then we have carbonyl group, or the compounds which are formed by the addition of this group, they will be known as ketones. Similarly, we have NH2, the compounds will be known as amides so this is just an overview of a uh, functional group uh, i hope this will uh, help you in understanding the uh, functional group uh, in the next video i will talk about isomerism till then thank you so much and allah hafiz